my channel so today we will continue to learn chapter 13 gas law and kinetic theory so in this video we will continue to discuss on gas pressure on a wall container the gas consists of atom and molecule so the molecule are in the state of random motion so they will collide with one another with the wall of the container so therefore the total force exacted on the wall is given by so this is the equation for the force exacted on the wall Okay, so when the molecule collide with the wall container, okay, pelanggaran, uh, the molecule will rebound, so this will cause the change in the momentum. So the rate of change of the momentum will produce a force, uh, if we follow the Newton's second law. Okay, so the force per unit area is defined as the pressure. Okay, so these are the equations. Okay, we can use uh, uh, P equals to 1 over 3, the number of molecule times the mass per volume, times the uh, mean square of the speed okay so if we shift the uh, volume into uh, the other side we will get pressure times the volume equals to 1 over 3 times the number of molecule times the mass times the mean square of the speed okay or if let's say we have uh, if let's say we have the uh, density uh, as we know that density is equal to a number of molecule times the mass per volume okay so this one we actually we can change it become the pressure equals to 1 over 3 times the density times the mean square speed okay so these are the equations for the pressure okay so next we go to exercise 3 the density of the oxygen okay in a STP standard temperature and pressure is given 1.43 kg per meter cube okay estimate the VRMF of the oxygen as this uh, STP assumes that the gas behave as an ideal gas Okay, so what we can do here is uh, we can use the equations P equals to uh, 1 over 3 rho mean square speed. Okay, so we substitute in the equations where the pressure here is given. Okay, so it's given 101. Okay, so we just follow 101 kilo equals to 1 over 3 and the density is given 1.43. So we will get the mean square of the speed is uh, okay is equals to v square of the speed okay our mean square of the speed we will get two point one two times ten to the power of five meter square per second square okay but the question asks us to find v r m s huh? meaning that we want to find v r m s or we must square root the mean speed okay mean square speed okay so square root 2.12 times 10 to the power of 5 so if we press calculator okay we will get 460.43 meter per second okay next we go to question number two a 0 0.2 kg of helium gas is contained in the container of 150 kilopascal okay vrms of the helium is given 2.45 kilo okay so you must later change it into meter per second Okay, determine the volume of the gas okay so we want to find the volume and we know that the equations just now uh, pv is equal to 1 over 3 mass times the mean square of the speed okay so the pressure here is 150 kilo okay volume is the value we want to find equals to 1 over 3 the mass is given 0 0.2 and the mean square speed okay here we don't have mean square speed we only have vrms okay and vrms is equal to square root of uh, mean square speed okay so vrms is 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3 because of the words kilo okay is equals to uh, mean square speed okay so if we square both sides okay if you square both sides we will get okay we will get the average or the mean square speed Okay, so it's equal to 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3 squared. Okay, so we substitute into the equation here. 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3 squared. Okay, so the volume that we will get here is equal to 2.67 meter cube. Okay, next we continue to find the temperature of the gas. Okay, so since we already have the uh, mass 
Okay, we have the pressure and also we have the volume. So we can find the uh, temperature of the gas by using the equations of PV equals to NRT equals to NRT where the pressure here is 150 kilo. Okay, volume is 2.67 meter cube equals to uh, number of mole. Okay, we can use the mass per molar mass. So 0.2 kg over molar mass is 4 gram. So 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So we convert into kg per mole. Okay, so later kg, kg, we can cancel. And R is equal to 8.31 times the temperature. Okay, so finally the temperature we will get 963.9 Kelvin. Okay, so that's all for this video. We will continue with the next chapter, 13.3 Molecular Kinetic Energy and Internal Energy. Okay, see you on next video. Bye.